Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today I have another book review for you. This one is called Where the Footprints End, High Strangeness, and the Bigfoot Phenomenon. Uh, volume 1, this is Volume 1, a two-part volume. This one is Volume 1, Folklore, written by Joshua Cutchen and Timothy Renner. Uh, so as you know, I love Bigfoot. I've talked about Bigfoot a couple times on this channel. Um, <clears throat> I love reading Bigfoot books. Uh, this one is a non-fiction Bigfoot book, um, which in the world of Bigfoot, there are two types of communities where one half believes that Bigfoot is a uh, flesh, and a flesh and blood type of creature. Uh, and then there's another half that believes that Bigfoot is a, uh, has supernatural, um, just he lives in a supernatural realm or uh, associated with supernatural elements. Um, and that's a lot what this book uh, touches on. A lot of the hard to explain uh, aspects of Bigfoot. That it's, it's really, you know, if Bigfoot is a flesh and blood creature, um, well then how does that explain uh, a, a lot of its behaviors and and uh, habits and activities and so so much and so forth um, so yeah uh, this book it takes a deep dive into the supernatural world of Bigfoot and it, it takes a look at how throughout the centuries um, and ac across the world uh, how Bigfoot has been a part of all these cultures and um, often in strange capacities um, for instance the the authors they 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 share all of these instances of wild man stories from back in the days of old where the newspapers would have stories about wild men living in the woods um, and just you know and how a lot of the wild man behavior and even how the wild man would look like uh, a lot of that is almost identical to how Bigfoot reacts or acts and uh, looks like for instance there's a lot of wild men would come out of the woods at night and tap on the walls of the house and and jump on the roof and throw rocks and and all, all these kind of um, strange behaviors that if you believe the Bigfoot uh oh if you believe the Bigfoot stories um, or eyewitness accounts uh, that's pretty those behaviors are pretty prevalent uh, in some of those stories too um, yeah like I said this book it goes into uh, really incredible detail as far as um, Bigfoot related to UFOs uh, sleep paralysis women in white um, God's ape all kinds of uh, whew, it's it's really the, the, the amount of detail and work and research that went into this book is astronomical and whether you believe in Bigfoot or you don't reading this really makes you it really opens your eyes and makes you you know look at the world a little differently I think um, and they even they even correlate Bigfoot with Santa Claus if you can believe it and I, mean, I had a hard I, I, when I saw that they were going to be writing about it I, I said how are they going to do this and but when I read it I was like holy cow it's it the similarities are really shocking um but yeah i mean it's 268 pages just under 300 200 well it's under 300 pages um but if you're interested in bigfoot and you're interested in the supernatural side of bigfoot this is definitely a book that you want to pick up um i found this book actually timothy renner one of the authors he is uh the host of one of my favorite podcasts strange familiars and if you like things that go bump in the night and scary 
you know, eyewitness accounts of monsters and things, unknown things, definitely give that a listen to. I, I love that. absolutely love that podcast. It's called Strange Familiars. And uh, like I said, if you're interested in Bigfoot, uh, the supernatural side of Bigfoot, uh, then definitely you want to pick up this book. I know they're going to be having a volume two, uh, which is going to be dealing more with actual physical evidence. Or um, So I'm looking forward to reading that one when it comes out. I hope it comes out soon. But this one is definitely a, a must read if you like Bigfoot or the supernatural or just uh, strange and compelling things. So yeah, definitely five stars I give this. Um, so I'll leave a link down below if you want to grab it for yourself. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll have another review for you soon. Have a good day. Thanks.